You know, are we going to give up spider? Not you know, it's, it's not easy to find uh, such a stationary price series. They don't come in nature too often, right? Uh, in, in the financial world, you know, certainly in nature maybe, but but not in the financial world. Another example, by the way, another example of um, non stationary feature would be earning per share, right? So you know, we with uh, with full dilution, the Apple's earning per share no doubt has doubled 100 times since inception. You cannot use the Apple earning per share uh, in uh, when they were in the first year of existence to their earning of per share now, right? I mean, this is would be completely crazy. You know, earning uh, Apple's on a fully diluted basis must be earning much more now than when they started in the first year. So, you, how do we deal with those non-stationary series? Well, traditionally, one way to deal with it is very simple. Take the difference, take the percent difference. Uh, another way of saying percent difference is take the log return. Log return is a little bit better than percent difference for uh, the reason that log return is normally distributed, but percent difference is not normally distributed. Percent difference has a lower bound of minus one. Okay, it's for prices. So for that technical reason, it's always better to use log return rather than net return. In other words, it's better than using percent difference. But in any case, in terms of non-stationarity, you can always convert it to a stationary feature by doing the uh, simple percent difference or taking the log return. But by taking this difference, you also lose information. It loses memory because it, it won't matter what the level of the price is anymore. It completely erased the memory. And Dr. Lopez de Pardo, in his famous uh, bestseller on financial uh, advances in financial machine learning, and I, I will quote this book often, uh, AFML means advances in financial machine learning. Uh, so this is uh, the source of uh, quite a few inspiration today. Uh, he introduced the notion of fractional differentiation. And so that's something we have also implemented for our website. We will do fractional differentiation automatically if you choose that option for your time series. So in fact, your time series can include non-stationary features such as the spider part. You don't have to do anything to get rid of it. 